What is going on guys and welcome back for another video and we're continuing our little adventure on fishing North Atlantic So we've had a nice little paint job on our boat as you can see and a rename to Boyance. I think it's quite a clever name to be honest with you. So thank you very much Kimmy as well One of the viewers that put it down in the comments So if you want to name our next boat put it down in the comments and we'll have a look See what we got if there's any good ones then we'll probably give them a nice little name of our boat as well one of our next boats so we're continuing on our little adventure doing fishing nets and we've got to do all this ourselves on this boat so we've got to um, load it up into the back get the fish ready or we'll get the nets ready so say for the fish and we've put a couple down at the moment i've got 20 nets so we've got plenty of nets and hopefully it's going to be plenty of fish as well for us fingers crossed we've got enough storage now going off previous episodes Storage has never been an issue, has it? Let's be honest with you. So I'm hoping the fishing nets is going to be pretty good for us to make a little bit of money. Once we find some fish in our little radar, that is anyway. There's not much here, is there? Where are they all? That's not a good sign from the previous nets that are currently down. Fingers crossed we can come across something, please. I would like it. Here we go, we've got our boat lined down and we're just got to keep the boat center so the net doesn't get damaged. And we've got quite a few different fish here, so fingers crossed we're into a nice little area as well for fish. This is what we want, loads of different types coming through. Swordfish and tuna, I don't think they could be caught by the net. I believe it's only like your haddock, silver hakes, etc. Some of your smaller fish. So we've got 120 meter length net for us. And a lot of fish have been coming through on that 100 meters, so that's quite a good. That's quite good for us. And give it another 100 meters, then we can drop our next one down. Meanwhile, we need to run to the back, don't we? Wish it was a little bit quicker though when you're running. I could do this manually. Gotta wait again for the next lot to come. That's that one. So we've got some silver hake on there, so at least we've got something for us. Again, it's another 120 meters. Off the top of my head, I think we've got five 70 meter nets, and the rest are 120 meters. So redfish as well want them. They're quite good monies, I believe. Oh. Let's see if we can get a full 20,000 kilogram haulage using our little nets. Let me know down in the comments as well, guys. Are you enjoying this game so far? And don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new to the channel. It doesn't really cost you anything. And it means a hell of a lot of support for myself. So thank you in advance for that one, guys. And also, the Twitch links are down below. We do Twitch streams three nights a week, normally around GMT time at 8 o'clock. And we play a variety of different games as well. So at the moment, we've been playing a lot of uh, Fast Morphia. So it's a nice little ghost hunting one. And also, we do a lot of Green Hell. So Green Hell, if you've never played before, is a great survival game. I would recommend it to anybody that loves survival games. It's probably one of the hardest survival games that I've played. Try and survive and everything. But once you get used to it, it's quite good. And we've got plenty of tutorial videos as well for you on this uh, YouTube channel. Nice lot here. We've got pollocks, we've got silver hakes, more silver hakes. Don't break the net, keep it in a blue if we can, buddy. And some haddock. What do you think about my new boat design as well? Yellow and red. I mean, we are standing out quite a bit, aren't they? Out here in the big wide ocean. There's got to be an easier way to do it than this. I have to get a bigger boat really and then hire somebody to set the night nets out for us. Pollock, pollock, silver hake. Silver hake again down there. Oh, let's try and get 
Try and spin it around. We'll go, go a little bit north. Back towards land. Don't want to go too far out in the water because it gets quite choppy then. For our little boat in the nets and big waves, it doesn't really a good combination for us, is it? I'm looking on here, everything is still red, so we're not captured anything just yet. Oh, we've got redfish, haddock, more haddock as well. Good, good. Looking good so far. I can't wait to get our massive boats, guys. One of our big ships. Can't wait for it. Do some crab fishing and everything. It'd be cool. Like 100k storage and everything on it. Uh, this boat still needs to do a little few upgrades as well for the engine, sonar, etc. So there's a couple of little things we could do on this boat before we do purchase the next one. We've placed 16 nets down. For the fishing and i didn't want to push it too much because i was thinking if we put 20 nets down and we have a ton in each net that would give us 20 ton maximum but if we get 1500 in each net we're gonna be running out of space very very quickly aren't we so 16 nets we've got to bring up we've got josh on the ready to pull them all in and we're going straight over to that boy over there somewhere <laughs> it's somewhere over there i can uh, see just there it is there it's a little red thing so we're going over to the first boy so we can bring it in. Good. Oh, got some red fish. And that was it. <laughs> okay. Oh, God, after all that work. We've got 691 kilograms off two fish. That's actually not too bad, considering. Um... I need to remind myself as well, when we get to port next time, we need to hire new crew with better skills. As Josh and Victor, I love them, but we need somebody with a little bit more skills, don't we? Better skill set. Make our job easier and make it more efficient for us as well, because we're losing a lot of fish as well at times. Is it is, is that the one there we're going towards or is one in front? Oh it's there on that side. Oh god. Okay, we can make it to this next one instead. Please we'll keep the both sides of the net on our right hand side as well, it won't actually work. We should bring it up too early. We're getting a good amount of fish here. Wow. Okay, we got two thousand, well, two thousand kilogram more than what the previous one was. So we've all done two nets and we've got two thousand six hundred already. This is going to be a nice haul here. Hopefully, we don't run out of space in our storage area. I really do hope we don't run out of space. But at the same time, I want to try and get twenty thousand kilograms. For our haul, there it is. We can see it just coming up here for our third one. Look at our right. Steady the pace. A little bit more to the left. There we go. Slow it right down. And haul that net. net fishing is probably the best way to be getting a large amount of fish guys i've tried long lines i've tried deep lines never got this many off this short amount yeah do you know what? i'm going to sell what we've got now and then we're going to go and get the rest of it so we've got eighteen thousand, and then we'll go to fast travel and hopefully all the nets that we've got already set are going to be intact for us because if you wait too long they can lose fish over time as well fingers crossed we're at, we're at a good point when we get there we've got a beautiful sunrise coming up as well but it's a little bit easier for us to spot we've got seagulls which is our, a brilliant sign and there's gonna be a lot of fish around this region as well for us so after we've done this lot we'll probably come back around underneath the seagulls 
and then we can see if there's any fish there for us that we can use the lines for. We can hear them seagulls, can't we? They're after some dinner. We've just got boys all over our place. They're still green as well, so we've got plenty of time to haul these. Maybe if they're still green by the time we come back to this location, we might have enough time to actually nip to the harbour and sell another load of fish. Finally, after about 10 minutes of trying, we got onto our second boy. Oh my god. Right, so we've got one. Do count, see how many fish we actually get in this line. Two. Three. Fifteen fish we just got in that 120 meter line. That is so good. And we're on 11,500 already. We still got all these to fish. Oh my god, we're going out of space very, very quickly. I think we should get this number six, get that done and out of the way, and then we're going to go back to the harbour, sell our fish, and then do another speed travel right back to our next one. Oh god, we're making mega bucks here, aren't we? We're going to make mega bucks. Well, this is another one for us, guys. We're back. We've got 19,400 on our second little trip, which gives us 99,359. Wow. Let's get back to our map and see if we can do a quick fast travel. Before we start losing the these lot, we've still got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine left. Oh my god, we've still got nine left. So this is us full for the second time. And we've still got all these nets as well. Unfortunately, we just lost 1700 kilograms worth of fish because our storage was full. That is absolutely crazy. We're raking it in at the moment, guys. That's another 20 kilograms, 20,000 kilograms, which gives us a total of 44,000 kilograms of fish already. And we've still got a few left to go. So 79,000. It's a little bit less this time because the previous one, I got it to probably about half of it. So that gives us an extra 12,000, give or take. So next time, I think, well, for the final one, it's probably going to be worth gutting the fish isn't it so so we've made it back for our final five nets and they've all just turned orange and other than number seven that turned quite a while back so that's gonna be the last one to get we probably won't get much fish on that but i'm gonna see how many fish we can get with one two three four five yep so it's five more let's see how we get on then let's see how we get on where's victor oh, what's his name josh is it i don't remember what his name was actually now josh yeah it was josh cool all right, okay, Josh, you getting ready? We're gonna try and bring these up and hopefully we'll get quite a bit of fish. But I'm not getting my hopes up for them because they have gone amber. Just to finish it off, to get as much money as we can, we are currently gutting our final catch of the day. And our final catch between all the nets, uh, one of them we didn't have any fish in. Unfortunately, we lost one of the nets worth of fish there for it. But we managed to get 9,000 kilograms still. It was a total of 53,000 kilograms. That is actually really good, considering we're only done 16 nets. We probably would have got a lot more fish if we didn't run out of storage. So that's probably one of the things we need to upgrade on this boat is storage. And let's see how much we're going to get for this one. Now we've gutted them. 56,000 for that. So that's given us a total of 248,000. 453 pence that's a good amount actually for 16 nets so i know what i'm going to be using in the future with the same boat as well we've still got the options to try lobster fishing and also rigging it up for deep line fishing we've tried deep line fishing before but we've got more lines this time around so we should be able to catch a good amount of tuna and swordfish for this one so fingers crossed we might make a bit of money on that side as well so guys, I'm going to leave it here for now. I'm just going to do a few upgrades. Probably hire a new staff member as well, who's actually good. Let's have a quick check. Services. Um, crew. A hire. Right, these are quite more expensive. Some of them. But they're a lot better, aren't they? Like freezing, machine gutting. So he's probably actually worth hiring for 48,000. 
Okay, Michael, we'll go and hire you because you've got quite a good amount of things here. We've got ten of pot hauling, repairing, hand gutting, long line is twelve, which is good. Net hauling is twelve, which is again, again, good. So we've got a good amount of um, overall ratings there. So we'll go take that guy. Right, okay, guys, thank you very much for watching the video. We'll go call it a day here, and I will see you again next time. Let me know down in the comments what are your thoughts on this game. If you got any tips as well, if you're a veteran in this game, let me know if you got any tips, how to find better fish, spots, etc. Let me know down in the comments and I'll get back to you. Thank you very much and I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.